Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another live stream here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me tonight. Today is day two of color month 2024 and I'm going to pick out a color combo to use for today's card. Before we get to that, I have a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, coming up on Wednesday will be another live mail call video. I hope you can join me. It's going to be at 2 p.m. Mountain Time, so 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday. I hope you can join me, tune in, and see a bunch of cards from fellow card makers. And the theme for February was rainbow or multicolor. So this is going to be a very colorful mail call video this time around. And, okay, so I have broken out the color cube, the um, Sarah Renee Clark color cube, and I have selected three different combos, just color combos that really spoke to me and kind of for the idea of what I want to do with tonight's card. So it, the first color combo is this one. And I can zoom in on this a little bit here so you can see it better. Really, really pretty, kind of like some purples, a blue, and some greens. So there's color combo option number one. And Here's color combo option number two. And I think with the gift boxes, it makes me think of birthdays and just really colorful. I thought this would be a really fun color palette to work with. So there's number two. And the third color palette is this one. Isn't that flower gorgeous? Like these photographs that she's chosen for all of these color combos are just beautiful. So this is the third combo. We've got some pinks some purples and like a really, really dark blue. All right, so here are your three options. If you're watching live, I'm gonna go ahead and put that poll up right now. I'm just gonna fill you in if maybe you haven't seen my previous video. The theme for March is uh, color month. And I'm going to be just focusing on color and color combos and color challenges and things like that. And one of the tools that I'm using this month is this uh, Sarah Renee Clark color catalog and color cubes. And these cards are from the color cube. This happens to be from color cube number one. And it's basically a bunch of cards with different color combos and color inspiration for you to use in your projects. So that's one, this is just one way you can use the color cube by you know pulling out colors. Um, on Friday, in Friday's video, I pulled out random colors as a challenge to myself. And today I looked through all of the different cards. Well, not all of them, you're quite a few, about 50 of them. And I picked out color combos that really spoke to me. So this is another way you can use it. You can ran go through and pick out ones you like instead of having it be random. Looks like the winner was number one with 47%, number three with 28, and number two with 24. So this was the this was the ranking like this. Such fun color combos. Um, maybe I'm just really digging the purple vibes because all of these kind of have like a purpley pink shade to them. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so I'm gonna set these two aside. I've actually already pulled colors for all of these. I should all be so proud I did prepping for this. <laughs> so um, here are the ink colors that I've chosen. And here they are in kind of the same order that are shown on the color palette here. So I've got Amethyst from Simon Says Stamp, Opulence from Pink Fresh, Got Galaxy from Simon's Stamp, Aegean from Simon, as well as Tide Pool. Is Hot Mama closer? Hot Mama might be closer. Yeah, I think Hot Mama is closer. We'll swap that out. So the stamp set that I'm going to be using today, I've actually got a couple. Um, this, this one right here from uh, Pretty Pink Posh, this is the Decorative Hearts stamp set obviously a Valentine's Day stamp set that came out a couple months ago, but I just really loved this kind of heart idea where you have a solid and then a pattern on top. And I thought that would work really well with some of these, like, you know, a lighter color with a darker color stamped on top or, or something like that. So I thought that would work well. And to mix it up just so it's not a Valentine's Day card, 
I thought I'd grab this Bold Messages 2 stamp set. This is from Simon's Rainbow Splash line of products. And I'm going to be using the Sending Hugs grading. I thought that'd be really fun. This is the basic card design for tonight. I wanted to get sort of like a map or a plan for what I wanted to do with my card. So I thought first I'd start by stamping the sentiment. Actually, yeah, we're gonna stamp the sentiment first because I want to do heat embossing with it. I thought since I'm gonna be stamping so many hearts, let's make it worthwhile and do two cards at the same time. I'm gonna swap out the card base color for each. And then I'm gonna place, oh, hello. That's like the wrong size, that's okay. It'll hang off the edge. Put that right there and then I'll get my little stamp set. I'm going to put that sending hugs right there, right in the center. Pick that up. All right, and then I will use my antiseptic powder tool just to prep this. And then I'm going to stamp in Versamark ink. That's a very solid greeting. So I'm actually going to stamp it twice. And then I'm just going to bring in that other card base down into that corner. Prep with an antiseptic powder tool and then stamp with the first mark. All right. Stamp that again, just like I did on the other card base. All right. Grabbing some gold embossing powder. This is gilded embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. I'll start with my craft note card. All right, I'm gonna set that aside for a moment and I'll do the embossing powder on my white card base. Okay. All right, I'm gonna remove my greeting. And now we can do <laughs> Do the map. Okay, I'm going to be stamping both of these at the same time. So I'm gonna first place my white card right there. Then I'm gonna put my clear mat down and I'll do the craft colored one right on top. All right, and now I can swap these interchangeably as I work. So I thought it might be helpful to already have this so I can stamp a couple of the hearts at the same time. So I thought that would speed things up. So like I'll have different colors going. So. fly away heading towards town I've seen a thousand suns too many pretty sights have crossed my way but you'll always be beautiful a little boy a little girl playing love games in the middle of it all a little kiss, a little touch, yeah, it's all it takes 
know for sure All burn eyes A single bed Staring at the ceiling Slowly lean your head Put it on my shoulder And I close my eyes Praying for this night to never end Seen many lovely nights with stars that shine as far as I could see But you'll always be beautiful to me Seen many lovely nights with stars that shine as far as I could see But you'll always be beautiful Holding close, holding tight Let the moon slowly take over on the night The sky has never been clearer than now All right, I'm going to remove card from my sticky mat. Put down a little bit of paper to catch the ink as I use it. And just gonna tape that to my glass mat so it doesn't move around on us. And then I'm going to grab some blending brushes. Because we're just going to bring in a little bit of color on the edges. Not a ton, but just enough to kind of give it a little more color. And I'm just going to kind of bring it in where there's a little bit of that color of heart in that area. So eventually I'll have color going all the way around the card, but I'm just going to skip over ones where the teal card or the teal heart is right up against it. So now I think I'm going to take, do I want to go straight to a Jean or should I do tidy pull? I'm going to go straight to a Jean. And this is mostly going to fill in those gaps in color. Add that around. There we go. Now I've got color around all those edges. All right. And I think I'm going to call it. I think those are going to be done. So here are the two finished cards, both done in under an hour. Um, they worked up really quick, actually. And even though I have a couple little boo-boos here and there, I think that they still look really great no matter what. And uh, yeah, there we are. So just a reminder that mail call is coming up on Wednesday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time. So please come back and join me. And then we will resume Color Month on Friday. So thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.